What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back to The Bomb Show, and this is the uh, latest segment I've come up with. It's called uh, Classics, so um, this should be an ongoing thing. I do also, uh, uh, beside the, the regular The Bomb Show uh, episodes, which Wendy hosts, and the um, Custom Corners, and we're also going to do an Artist Spotlight segment that we're going to try to do regularly. But uh, yeah, for the premiere episode um, of Classics, I think this is a very, very nice one to start off with and um, if you aren't familiar with this piece this is Rom the Space Knight manufactured by Parker Brothers in 1979 um, as you could tell by the colors and the style of the box and everything it definitely gives you that 70s feel uh, the colors the just the way everything is done um, pretty cool box definitely takes me back um, doesn't look like any kind of packaging today but uh, yeah, so the box is basically a five panel flip lid uh, window box and you can see Rom inside of there. And Rom is a, an old comic book. I believe it, it was a Marvel comic. And um, I almost think, I think the toy might have start, uh, 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 I think the toy may have been actually before the comic books. I'm probably wrong about that. but. For some reason, I feel like this was the, the comic books were af actually uh, based on the toy. Um, I'm sure somebody out there knows, and you can comment and let me know if I'm wrong or not. It's cool. <laughs> it's no problem. Um, uh, and uh, anyway, I remember as a child uh, growing up in the 70s, and you know, I, I went over to a cousin's house of mine who lived in Manhattan, and uh, they were a little older than me, and uh, I remember they had this piece. And uh, I went to their house and they were playing with it and everything. I didn't get to play with it, but I, I thought it was amazing. When I saw it, it was so freaking cool. I mean, I didn't have anything like this back then. Um, I think the coolest toys I had back then were probably some uh, Mego, um, Mego figures, some of the Remco monsters, and maybe like some Star Wars stuff. And uh, But this guy was like, this was like a super, super high-end figure, I guess at that time. Um, I didn't know of any other electronic uh, action figures at that time. There probably were some out there, but this was the first one I, I remember seeing. And uh, I remember at my cousin's house, uh, man, to be totally honest, I remember I wanted to steal it. I wanted I wanted to take it home. I didn't care that it didn't belong to me, especially since I didn't get to mess with it. Um, and uh, this is the reason why I'm calling this a classic is because this never left my mind from uh, back in the 70s when I saw it. Growing up, I never forgot about this piece, and as an adult, I acquired it. Um, several years ago, we got this piece, and uh, so uh, I guess, uh, yeah, let's take it out of the box and check it out. And there he is, Ron the Space Knight. Um, definitely has a uh, very, very vintage look and feel to it. Um, very, very simple. Uh, toy, but I think for its time, I think it was very effective. Um, obviously, it's, it stood in my mind. I never forgot this guy. He's really, really simple. He's got uh, articulation points at the shoulders, at the hips, at the knees, and just a little bit going on at the ankle. Nothing, nothing crazy, but uh, you know, what really actually made this guy special were his electronic features, which are, are he's got a, he's got quite a few of them, and um, well, quite a few different uh, variations of his electronic features. And uh, for those who don't know, this guy was actually a major influence on the design of uh, RoboCop, who is this guy. And I'm sure most of you guys know who RoboCop is. If you don't, uh, I don't know. <laughs> RoboCop is super iconic to me, but uh, RoboCop's costume was was uh, very much influenced by Rom. Um, if you watch, if you go back and check out RoboCop again, the original RoboCop, uh, there's a scene where uh, Peter Weller is having flashbacks and he goes and he sees his son uh, watching a TV show. I think it was called TJ Laser. If you look on the floor, you'll see a Rom comic book. And uh, there's also... Uh the gas station scene on the comic book racks. You can see a couple of ROM comics here as well. 
and uh, they put that in there as an homage to Rom himself, and because he was uh, Robocop was based on uh, Rom's design. So uh, yeah, very cool. So uh, some of Rom's features are. Let's see. Get this stand out of the way. If you notice, he's got some buttons at the top of his of his jetpack there. Um, he's got two program buttons and his on-off switch, and he ran on one nine-volt battery. Very simple. And, uh, uh, his first feature that I would I'll show you guys is uh, well. Let, let me turn him on first so you can see he lights up. As you can see his eyes lighting up. And his respirator, his eyes and respirator on, on his chest, and his eyes light up and his chest blinks and flashes left to right. And he has a little beeping sound going on. If you can hear that. There you go. Okay, so basically he has, uh, depending on what variations and what uh, order you hit the, the uh, switches on his back, he does different things. So uh, one of them would be a breathing sound. I think that was, I, I thought this was amazing when I was a kid. I thought it was so freaking cool. <laughs> and then uh, he's got the jetpack. You can actually see the jetpack lights up as well. I thought that was freaking amazing. Um, and then he has a. Uh, other accessories which also work with his programming buttons and his electronic features so let, let's show you some of those uh, his first accessory is called the neutralizer that's his first weapon and I'll show you how this works basically um, he also came with a with a uh, cable a power cable and you basically plug the large end into the accessory and you plug the small end into the side jack on his body as you can see the wire plugs into the side of his body and you put the accessory in his hand and the neutralizer is activated by hitting a sequence of buttons that's his neutralizer working there that's really cool <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, this accessory is called the energy analyzer. It looks like the neutralizer, but it's very different. I'll show you what this one does. There it goes. Isn't that cool? I thought that was freaking awesome as a kid, man. It blew my mind. <laughs> and finally, we have the translator. This is his two-handed weapon. And the translator does this. <laughs> now that's, that's classic, classic old school science fiction at its finest. Isn't that cool? So, yeah, and then he should uh, go back to breathing, I guess. Or, yeah, there he goes. Um, yeah, so this this was a this was a really cool uh, toy, as far as I was concerned, from back in the '70s. I think he absolutely is up there with, you know, some of the most classic classic toys from the 1970s. Um, that, there was definitely nothing like this guy back then, um, and he's one six scale, which is kind of cool because uh, we we're big into one six scale now. And uh, yeah, Rom was a was a was a big deal for me when I was a kid. Rom the Space Knight, and uh, he's definitely gonna stay with me until until until. <laughs> so uh, yeah, he's an awesome awesome collectible. And uh, thanks for watching the Bomb Show Classics. Peace.